Daniel, it was a couple of hours ago you sat down after the second set, down two sets to love, and I think we all would like to know what was going on in, in that big tennis brain of yours at that point in time. At that point it was tough because first set, honestly saying, I think we both played not, not very good. Second set, uh, I felt like I played actually a bit better than first set, but he played very well, so 6-3, two breaks, I don't really have chances on his serve, so... Uh, I was a little bit lost, but uh, during the third set, I started saying to myself that if I lose this match, I just want to be proud of myself. I want to fight till the end, fight for every point, and if I lose, I lose, and uh, I managed to win, so I'm very proud. <laughs> you should be proud of that for sure. You're, you're known as one of the, the best tacticians in men's tennis. What changes did you need, need to make to turn this match around? Yeah, at one moment in third set, I felt like I was uh, tired physically, and uh, looking at him, I didn't feel it. So I was like, I actually cannot run anymore for 40 rallies that we did in the first set. So I was like, okay, let's go more aggressive and same again. If, uh, if it doesn't work out, I tried. I tried uh, what I thought would work, and uh, it started working. I started to make some good shots, uh, better shots that I didn't do before. I uh, started to serve much better, um, put a lot of pressure on my serve. And then tie breaks uh, pretty unbelievable, a little bit lucky on 5 all return, but that's tennis, you know. That's... You didn't mean that shank return winner? You, that, was, that was not intentional? Uh, the slice was intentional, but uh, the, the drop shot with a back spin or something against the wind was not really intentional. But when I, like, kind of when I touched it and when I saw it going, I was like, just don't touch the net, just don't go into the net, because it's, it was either it touches the tape or it's in and it's tough for him, so... Uh, yeah, sometimes you need to be lucky, and uh, today is my day. You, you are a very experienced competitor in major tennis. You've, you've gone deep at majors, you've won a major before, but I want to know if you've ever had to dig as deep as you've had to physically and mentally in this tournament. You've been down two sets of love now twice and come back in one, and you found your way to the final, but it, it's, it's been a long road for you. Uh, never, never, uh, never made it that tough uh, and uh, happy about it because before uh, my statistics in five sets was not good. Um, and uh, yeah, physically and mentally it's, it's tough, five sets. And uh, many times in the fifths I was not strong enough so I'm, uh, I'm happy, I, that's, uh, you know, I, uh, one month ago I wanted to change a little bit even more to try to be even more uh, strong mentally and uh, to, be, to, to, to think less about uh, one guy in the crowd who screams something at me or when I think, uh, <laughs> or when I think, uh, or when I think uh, the referee has done something wrong. I try to focus more. Um, I'm still yet far from being perfect, but uh, I'm trying. That's your New Year's resolution. Okay, we got it. Um, you're going to face a, a player in the final who's never played in a major final. Yannick Sinner has been so impressive in this tournament, and I'd like to get your view on what he's been achieving in this tournament. I'm, I would imagine you've watched him play some of his matches. Yeah, impressive. As you say, 5-1 uh, against Andre. I was sleeping at the time, but 5-1 on the tiebreak against Andre. Won, won the tiebreak. 6-1, 6-2 against Novak, who is 10-0, was 10-0 in the semifinals on this court. So, very impressive. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I need to, to recover well, uh, try to be 100% on Sunday. Uh, I hope uh, you guys can enjoy and uh, we, we can have a great show. So, this will be your third time playing in the final here at the Australian Open. You've won a U.S. Open, but not here. What would it mean for you to win on Sunday night and take an Australian Open title home with you? Well, first of all, we say, we say third time lucky, so uh, let's see. Uh, I can say by experience it's not always like this, but... Hopefully here uh, it works. I don't know if you guys in Australia have this uh, <laughs> have this phrase. Hopefully, yes. Why are you looking at me? I'm from America. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm asking them. I, I cannot get an answer like this. But uh, do do they have this in America or no? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have it here. Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, it will mean a lot because actually saying uh, I, I would say this court is not my best court in terms of my performance and my actual. Uh, self-esteem I would say on on the court and that's why many times I had to dug uh, to dig uh, deep during these tournaments uh, 
So I'm going to be the happiest uh, man on the planet. But uh, for this, I need to, uh, to play pretty well and uh, win three sets on Sunday. Well, we're going to look forward to that match. Ladies and gentlemen, another show from Daniil Medvedev.